Hi, I'm Alan Reisman with Lakefront TV, and today we're on location at the Leesburg International Airport at the Air Traffic Control Tower. The Air Traffic Control Tower controls multiple facets of the airport, from the airspace, to our runways, to our taxiways, to our ramp. We're going to go up there and see what it's like in the day of an air traffic control operator. I'm here in the air traffic control tower at the Leesburg International Airport with air traffic control manager, Tim Myers. So Tim, can you tell us a little bit of history about this air traffic control tower? Uh, the tower was uh, constructed in 2005 and it actually went into commission in 2006. It's a federally contracted tower. Um, the contractor that operates this tower is RVA, a company that operates out of Oklahoma City. Um, we have seven employees. I'm the manager and six, uh, six other employees. Uh, Traffic-wise, we primarily do training here at Leesburg. We have a lot of flight schools in the area that come here and do touch and goes, and a lot of training her happens here. We do have some corporate activity that happens. We have the villages that operate out of the field. Uh, Phillips car dealership has a jet that operates. Um, Brainerd Helicopter, of course, has several helicopters that are in and out of here. And we do have corporate traffic that comes in periodically and, and picks up and drops off passengers. Um, Traffic in Leesburg has been growing rapidly lately, and uh, we seem to be getting busier and busier. So what are your responsibilities as an air traffic control? At Leesburg, we have two control positions. We have a local control position and a ground control position. The ground controller will taxi the aircraft out to the active runway, and when the aircraft clear the runway, he'll taxi them to the ramp area or whatever the parking area is that they want to go to. The local controller is the person that's responsible for actually sequencing the airplanes when they're in the pattern, landing at Leesburg, and when they're approaching the airport from different locations. The local controller will um, give them positions of other aircraft and put them in a place in the pattern so they can uh, make their approach to the runway and land. So lots of moving parts. <laughs> lots of moving parts. So Tim, I see a lot of equipment up here. Can you explain some of this equipment and what the functions of that equipment is? We, uh, we don't have a whole lot of technology or equipment in here. We do have aircraft radios, uh, weather equipment, uh, we have a clock of course, and we do have backup equipment in case our, our primary equipment fails. Over here in the ground control position we have an ASOS, which is an automated surface observation system. It's uh, maintained by the National Weather Service out of Melbourne, and it transmits weather hourly and if we have thunderstorms and, and weather like that coming through, it'll, it'll update itself uh, on the minute if, if that weather is changing that rapidly. What we do with the uh, ASOS information is we'll put that onto our ATIS, which is the Automated Terminal Information System, and that's just a recording that we'll, we'll make the recording of and broad, that broadcasts out continuously so any pilots that are flying into or out of Leesburg get the uh, latest weather information. If someone wanted to become an air traffic controller, what advice would you have for them and how would they go about doing that? To become an air traffic controller, uh, my, my route was the military. I was in the Air Force and that was how I got my training. Uh, from there, I, uh, I applied and, and was hired on by a, a federal contractor and that was the route that I took. Um, a lot of the guys that are up here, well about half of the guys that are up here are prior military. So they were in the Air Force, the Army. Uh, we have a Navy, ex-Navy controller that was up here. Um, other guys hired on directly with the FAA. And to do that, you can just go to the, uh, the government FAA website and you can uh, submit an application that way. There's also a lot of schools, since I've gotten into this, there's a lot of schools that have opened and you can actually learn how to be an air traffic controller going through a two-year program. There's several schools in Florida. Uh, there's one in North Dakota. They're all over the place. And a lot of people are going that route where they actually go through, get a college degree, and then apply with the FAA that way. Thank you for taking the time to show everyone at home what, it, what the life of an air traffic controller is. Um, I know a lot of people drive by and see this and they're like, what is that or what, what happens up there? So this was really cool and I appreciate the opportunity for uh, showing this to everyone at home. Thank you, Alex. Thank you everyone for watching this episode of the Airport Update uh, for Lakefront TV. To learn more about the happenings here in the city of Leesburg, visit leesburgflorida.gov and follow our Facebook page at the Leesburg International Airport. Everyone have a great day and fly safe.